Uh, there it is. With rates dropping, we anticipate refinancing soon. A lot of talk about refinancing. Again, folks, we're in the fives, uh, low fives for FHA VA loans. So keep that top of mind. There's a refinance opportunity as well as purchase loans, by the way. We're in the fives. Take advantage of that. But with that said, with rates dropping, we anticipate refinancing soon and have heard there is a no closing cost option. Wouldn't that be the best choice to optimize the benefit of refinancing to a lower rate uh, or to lower our rate? Um, well, I have an interesting answer there, and you can see it at the top bullet point. I agree it's the best choice for the mortgage loan originator. Okay, what does that mean? Why do I, why do I say that? Because uh, otherwise, wouldn't it be obvious that if you can get the loan, uh, you get your loan refinanced at no closing costs? Wouldn't that be obviously the best choice? Not exactly. So let me explain why. First thing to understand is there's no such thing as a no closing cost loan. There are going to be closing costs. There are other, there are many service providers involved in arranging that mortgage loan, uh, including on a refinance. You're still going to have an appraiser. You're still going to have a credit report company. There could be a third party vendor providing an employment verification. There could be a property management company for uh, condominium development who's got to provide some documents that's going to cost some money to get them. Uh, they're going to charge for that. There's going to be an escrow office, a title company. They're going to charge fees for escrow fee and title reports and so forth. So closing costs exist. There's no such thing as no closing cost. What matters is how they are paid. The closing cost refinance pitch, I'll call it a pitch, is simply a function of you're going to have those costs paid through the interest rate offered to you. In fact, there's a well-known company here in Southern California. You don't hear from them much now uh, They would in a, in a, because rates have been high. But in a low-rate environment, they're all over the radio advertising. You know, you're not going to pay one dime out of pocket for any closing costs. Uh, it's the greatest you know thing in the world since sliced bread, all that kind of nonsense. Well, all that means is they're going to offer you a rate where the closing costs that are real are being financed into the rate. What that means is you're going to be hired. You're going to be hired. You're going to be offered a mortgage rate for the no closing cost scenario. It's going to be a little bit above market. What that's going to do is create what we call a net lender premium or credit, and they so, so they set the new rate being offered to you. Now that new rate may be still, you know, possibly even significantly below your current rate, but they're going to raise it slightly above what you could get if you just went with zero points rather than no cost. And so that higher rate creates a net lender premium, and then they apply that to all those third-party fee-based costs. Now, the reason I think that's not the best option is because in most cases, the homeowner has enough equity that what I observe, and I show them, I show them the numbers so they grasp what I'm talking about. I think you're almost always better off finance those true closing costs into your loan amount, not into your rate. Why would I say that? Because you're going to get a lower rate offered to you, still going to be at zero points, but those third-party fee-based costs are going to be paid for out of your new loan amount. Uh, that lower interest rate versus the no-cost option is also going to provide you a lower APR, and you're going to have a lower principal and interest payment. And the, by adding it to the loan amount, the new loan amount, does that affect your monthly payment a little bit? Of course it does. But remember, each thousand dollars of loan amount and current le interest rate levels is about six bucks a month. Well, if you have to add, you know, thirty-five hundred dollars to your loan amount to cover those non uh, those non-recurring third-party fee-based costs, that's about nineteen bucks a month. Well, if you end up getting offered a quarter or three H higher rate in order to cover those third-party non-recurring costs, that quarter or three H and rate is probably going to cost you a lot more than nineteen dollars a month. It's probably going to cost you, depending on your loan amount. 50, 60, 75 bucks a month or more. So obviously, when I present it this way, the light goes off with most homeowners. They say, you're right. I've got the ability to put those costs in my new loan amount. I'm going to do that and not into the rate. The reason I think it's better to do, the, do it that way is a no closing cost option means if you pursue it, you're going to probably be refinancing more often in an extended declining rate environment. Back, you know, previously when we were seeing that kind of environment, a lot of originators would push the no closing cost option. Uh, so they'd still give you a better rate than you had now. Uh, you'd close that loan. 
you're probably getting a quarter, three eighths higher than a market rate with no points. And then what happens is when rates fall a little bit further, maybe as little as you know three eighths, maybe a half a percent uh, for a new no closing cost scenario, they'll come back to you and say, hey, let's refinance again. I got all your information. Uh, this is going to be easy to do. And let's do another no closing cost uh, refinance for you. And they'll literally have you refinance several times at you know three eighths, a quarter, three eighths, half percent increments. Because why? There's no. Why wouldn't you? There's no closing cost. Well, what that serves, in my opinion, that serves the mortgage originator more than you, uh, because obviously every time they orig originate that no closing cost loan, they're getting paid. So again, if you're looking at a refi, I caution you about the no closing cost option. I've had that debate with some homeowners when I've arranged refis, and even even after I present them my opinion, they still want, want me to do the no closing cost refi. I have done them. I'm not going to say no, obviously, but I want you to have a full understanding of what the two options are. And in my opinion, financing your closing costs on a refi into your loan amount is going to be long term a much better option for you, and it's going to allow you to ha uh, to refinance a lesser amount of times in that declining interest rate environment if it's a declining over an extended period of time. So hopefully that helps uh, clear up the uh, choices between those two options.